Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today we're going to be talking about stay and away arming on the DSC Neo alarm system. And this does apply to a lot of other systems as well, especially modern ones. But essentially, uh, we get asked quite a bit, you know, why won't my system arm in stay mode? Why won't it arm in away mode? So on and so forth. And that is because of the coding on the system itself. Um, all of these modern systems come with a lot of false alarm prevention programming. And essentially that's just set up to keep people from accidentally setting off their alarm. So for example, you know, if you're trying to stay home for the night, but you accidentally arm it away somehow, then your motions are going to be active and it's going to set the alarm off. So they do this to prevent those false alarms or accidental alarms. And there's a few factors that go into this. So essentially the system watches to see whether or not somebody leaves during the arming period. And what it watches is a delay door, which is generally, like I said, a door. Um, it could be a motion or some other sensor, but essentially you have an entry point into the house. And I always recommend a door because they are the quickest acting sensors. So that is what you want to catch, you know, you leaving or you entering, so on and so forth. The other factor is a motion or some other sensor that is meant to be bypassed whenever you are in stay mode. You have to have one of those set up as a stay slash away zone. And that tells the system that it can either arm in stay or away mode. If you don't have a stay or away zone, then you won't be able to arm in stay mode period. It'll just arm it away all the time, even if you're staying home. Essentially away mode just means everything's active. Stay mode means that certain sensors are going to be bypassed, such as the motion. So whenever you're arming the system, you're always going to have a countdown, minimum 45 seconds. But essentially during that countdown, the system watches this delay door or your entry point to see if somebody exits, essentially. So if you're arming and you don't touch this while you have a stay slash away zone active, it's going to arm in stay mode because it doesn't think anybody left. Now, if you open this door during the exit countdown, it's gonna tell the system, hey, somebody left, I can turn on all my sensors, I can arm in away mode now. And that is essentially the gist of this whole process. So like I said, if you just have perimeter sensors and you don't have any stay slash away zone definitions plugged in, the system's always gonna arm away. But if you do have a stay slash away zone programmed, then it will watch that entry point to see if somebody leaves or not. So I'm going to run through some scenarios here so you guys can see what I'm talking about and hopefully give a better visual of that. But essentially, I'm going to move the camera over. We'll run through my little setup here, show you what I have these two set up as, and then from there, I'll show you some examples of how the system arms. So I'll be right back. So here in a second, I'm going to start going over the different scenarios for different types of systems and you know setups that you could have. But before we do that, I want to cover the different arming methods for arming from the keypad. Now, touchscreens offer a slightly different approach to this, but essentially the concept is still the same. So even if you have a touchscreen, you can follow right along. Basically, you have three options. You can type in your code, and that's gonna start the exit delay countdown. Once you, once you do that, it's gonna tell the system to start watching that delay door to see if it opens and closes to see whether or not it needs to go into stay or away mode. Now, you also have a stay and away function key over here on the right. Now, these don't change anything about the way that it arms. If you hold the stay button, that doesn't guarantee it's gonna arm in stay mode. If you hold the away button, it doesn't guarantee the system's gonna arm in away mode. The coding determining whether or not the system arms in stay or away is still always present, even if you hit a specific button. The only difference about these buttons as compared to typing in your code is if you hold the stay key and use it, it is going to count down silently. You're going to get an initial beep, but it will not do the beep, beep, beep as it counts down to let you know that it's time to leave. So from here, we'll go into our scenarios. So the first scenario that we're going to cover is a system that does have motions or glass breaks or otherwise sensors that need to be bypassed while the system is armed in stay mode. So what's going to happen when I arm the system is it's going to warn me that there is a bypass active because once you start arming, it is watching to see what needs to happen. So it's going to start watching this delay door. 
So if this door is not opened during the arming countdown, then it will arm in stay mode and it will bypass those sensors, the stay slash away sensors. If I do open it, however, and then I close it again, that tells the system, hey, somebody left. So now I can turn on my motions, turn on my glass breaks, turn on my stay slash away zones. So I'm gonna go ahead and arm it real quick. I'll show you what happens when you first arm it, what it says, and then I'll show you what it says after the fact. So once you start arming, it is going to pop up and say warning, bypass active. And that is letting you know that it is going to bypass those stay slash away zones because it still thinks everybody is in the house. So I'll be right back when it's armed. So when it first arms, it is going to tell you system armed in stay mode. It will always tell you whatever arming method it is in after it is armed. So now if we scroll to the right, it is still going to say warning bypass active. And that is because it's telling you, hey, that motion or your stay away zones are bypassed currently. And as you can see, I set off that motion and it didn't trigger the system. If we keep scrolling, it's also going to say star one to arm interior. So it gives you the option if you want to arm that interior, which is the stay away zones, or if you're using night zones, um, those also come into play here, but essentially you can arm the interior while you are home. So that really only applies to night arming, which we're not really gonna cover. I covered that in another video, but essentially night arming allows you to choose certain sensors that will stay off even after you've turned on the interior. But essentially, um, after that, once it's scrolled through those, it will just say the date and time until something happens, such as opening your delay door to start the countdown. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to arm the system, and as soon as I start arming it, I'm gonna open and close that entry exit door. So, one, two, three, four, arm it. Warning, bypass active, exit delay in progress. Now if I open this front door and close it, that tells the system, hey, somebody left the house. It's cool to arm in away mode. I can turn on all my sensors. So now if we scroll through, it doesn't show the bypass active anymore because it's no longer going to bypass those zones. And I'll be right back whenever this is finished arming. So we've armed and we are in away mode, as you can see there, system armed in away mode. Now what that means is that motion is active. So if I trigger it again, it is going to set off the alarm system. And as you'll see, as I scroll, there are no other options. And that's because you shouldn't be in the house right now is basically what it's telling you. So if I trigger that motion, system will go into alarm. Right now I have the keypad alarm beeps turned off, so you can't hear it. But essentially you can see it there, system is in alarm and it's scrolling through whatever zone was triggered, zone two, which is the motion. So, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up the system so that it is basically just a perimeter coverage system where you don't have motions or glass breaks or whatever that need to be bypassed while you're in stay mode. And basically the system is always going to arm in away mode. But to do that, we have to take away our interior stay away definition. So I'm gonna do that real quick. So essentially all I've done is turned off the motion detector. Basically, there is no stay slash away zone present on the panel. So now if I arm, it's just going to say exit delay in progress. There's no warning bypass is active because it's not gonna bypass anything. The only thing it has to worry about is the perimeter, which should always be armed, period. So whenever it's done, I'll be right back. So as you can see, it says system armed in away mode. There's no other options because everything's active, which is just gonna be your instant windows and your delay door or your entry exit doors. So now if I arm it and I do open that delay door, it's not gonna do anything. It's basically going to stay the same setup. It's going to allow you to leave, do your thing, but it's still going to arm in away mode. And that's basically just because it doesn't have to arm in stay mode for any reason whatsoever. It doesn't have to worry about any sensors that need to be bypassed. So I'm gonna go ahead and disarm this. So that's pretty much it for away and stay arming. Like I said, there are other arming methods which were covered in another video, but essentially um, what we get asked about the most is the fact that systems 
will arm in, you know, a mode that isn't what people are trying to activate. Especially in regards to the function keys here, but hopefully that clears things up. And if you have any more troubleshooting issues, uh, check out our how-to videos at alarmsystemstore.com, or you can check our YouTube channel, Alarm System Store, on YouTube. Um, if you could, like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one.